so we all thought we had escaped the computer screen POV movie uh, with the likes of, you know, Unfriended, Unfriended 2, and Searching. But lo and behold, five years since the last one with Searching, we now have Missing. You need to let the police handle this. I tried! I'm not giving up on my mom. Which, conveniently enough, spiritual sequel to Searching. And much like Searching, this one is uh, investi is a investigation, you know, Storm Reed, her character. Uh, her parents go to uh, vacation one day without her. And, lo and behold, her mom goes missing. Missing was pretty solid all around, I thought. The editing, I didn't care for. But it's still that same... Um, computer screen POV type stuff where she's got her webcam on all the time and we just see her perusing the internet looking for clues looking for answers as to where her mom went along the way you know her friends help try to help her out the police try to help her out but they are borderline useless which adds to her own frustration and uh, adds to you know why she's taking this into her own hands, which I do like. And along the way, she, uh, she hires uh, someone named Javi, and he's honestly the best character of the movie. I think I like I like him a lot. Um, and you know he goes around Colombia because she's in L.A., not in Colombia, uh, searching for clues, searching for answers for her missing mom. Storm Reed, I'm still not super on board about being a leading character, leading actress. Um, you know, my only frame of reference for her is this scene from The Suicide Squad. And her performance in A Wrinkle in Time from about five years ago, I think, as well. Which, uh, that whole movie in itself was not good anyway but overall i did enjoy missing quite a bit um it is fairly predictable um i i was throwing around a lot of dumb predictions you know a lot of like a lot of like wacky goofy kind of ideas and some of those really ended up being true by the end of the movie um one other fault i would say is after the big reveal yeah, if you really start to like think about it and piece everything together, kind of just like falls apart and just becomes like way more convoluted than it needs to be, given you know what is being built up to. But you know w when you're watching it happen, it is still just a lot of fun seeing where this all goes, seeing events happen, clues, information being dug up. It, it's a fun, it's a fun mystery to follow. It is you know fun. It's pretty solid. It doesn't do anything heinously, outrageously stupid. Um, it doesn't, you know, every, it still, you know, it vaguely makes sense as to, you know, the whole scheme of it all. The In the group of people I was with, my partner and her coworkers, we still were able to have a lot of fun despite, you know, how, like, uh, cliche and predictable some elements are. It is, it is just a fun movie. To see with people, you know, especially, you know, when you do get to talk about, like, oh my god, this happened, and blah blah blah, you know? It's solid. Another thing I did really enjoy was they throw in an element of, like, true crime into it. You know, the movie starts with a true crime TV show that Storm Reed is watching, and sure enough, uh, it's, it's like a dramatization of, like, true crime events that they recreate very tasteful i understand i know um and they pick the the subject matter for the specific episode we start with is from searching with john cho so that's a that again that's a fun little you know connection to the universe yeah and they tackle like the idea of like true crime being just inherently distasteful especially for an active investigation and an active crime scene you know you, Storm Reed is like browsing the internet while like new information about her mom is being brought up and a lot of people are like asking the question blah 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 is this you know what kind of wacky conspiracies can we think of you know blah 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 you know exploiting the story for their own TikTok clout and to promote their podcast or whatever and even her friend is like it's just like this episode of this true crime show that we have in our universe and kind of like le like leans in a little bit into the frustration of like the people who are actually affected 
by how distasteful true crime shows can be. Again, especially in cases that are currently going on and developing. You know, we saw that with a couple cases over the past, like, two years, I think. Um, just people, like, really, like, trying to, like, armchair sleuth themselves into the story and conspiracy about the motives when they have no fucking information to go off themselves. But they, they don't really, like, dive too deep into it without it, you know, going, like, they don't go overboard with it. It's just, you know, an idea that they bring up and they don't, yeah, they don't go overboard with it. They don't, like, shove your face into it, which I think I do like that. They keep it to a minimum. They bring it up, and then they move on to, you know, the actual matter of the movie with, with the, the missing and the investigation and 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 uh, the searching. Overall, just, whole, just uh, entirely recapping my emotions for it, it is a pretty solid flick. I thought I wasn't going to like it as much... Um, and even during the movie, it was like, this is not that effective or that strong. But leaving the theater, thinking about it over the past, like, day and a half or so, it is it is a fun flick. It, it is a solid watch. I do, I do enjoy it. I don't think I'll ever see it again. I haven't seen Searching since that one came out either. But I do recommend this movie to people, especially because, you know... People will be guessing the entire time. People will still get a good good amount of enjoyment out of this. I do think that there is something for this movie for for um, a modern audience, I guess. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. But yeah, um, yeah, 6 out of 10. Uh, solid flick. Uh, Storm read is fine. And the editing is obnoxious at times. But, you know, what else are you going to do for a POV computer screen movie? that, you know, won't be boring or redundant, given, like, how many other of these movies we have. Go see the movie, follow my socials in the description and at, on the end card. Check the movie out if you want to, I guess. Um, it's, it's pretty solid. Okay, uh, bye! <laughs>